Good morning, I am Kate here at Find Your Center, and we are going to figure out today how your body creates art. So I will give you some ballet poses to try out. These are gonna be some relatively simple ballet poses. You don't have to do them correctly necessarily. You don't have to know anything about ballet, but we are trying to give ourselves a base from which to learn ballet. So to learn ballet, at any age, with any body, one thing that we have to accept and learn to work with is our own accent. So just like when you are learning a language later in life, you'll have an accent when you speak the language. It's the same when you learn ballet at a later age. Your body is not going to develop in the ballet way, the way that a little kid who learns ballet at a young age would. So. We are going to try out some poses, take some pictures of ourselves, or just look in the mirror if you prefer that. See what looks good on you. We'll also try playing around with our clothes a little bit. See what kind of clothes look good on you while you're doing your ballet poses. And then we'll reflect a little on how your body creates art. So let's go ahead and we'll start standing up. And just kind of follow along and Imitate what I'm doing. If it seems like it's not working for you, you can adjust it or you can skip this pose. So we'll start with a couple that we did in previous videos. One is just standing straight, chest up, looking off into the distance. All right, pose number two, getting a little more complicated now. Starting from here, this time we're gonna bring our arms forward and out, looking out over that top hand. All right, now we're gonna to turn to face the back. And we're gonna put our hands on our hips and turn around to look at the camera or the mirror with our chin down. And then we're going to straight, palm false, looking straight ahead. We'll open a little bit with our hips and reach our hands up toward the ceiling. All right, then we're gonna do a couple sitting down on the floor. We'll play around with our clothes a little bit later. So when you find one of these that really works for you, then go ahead and pause, take a picture of yourself, or just practice that pose a little bit more so you can come back to it. So we'll go ahead and come and sit all the way down. And sit cross-legged here. If you're wearing jeans or something, you might have to adjust a little bit. So cross leg in a comfortable position, looking toward the corner, and we'll do those same open arms. We'll stay here with our legs. This time we'll open both of our arms up, looking forward. Now we're gonna do the facing the back pose, but on our knees. You can sit all the way up on your knees or sit down on your feet. And hands on our hips. We'll turn around. You can move a leg a little bit as you need to as you turn. All right. And let's go ahead and stand up again. And now we'll play around a little bit with our clothes. So I'll start by just taking off this big sweater. So one thing I want you to notice as you play around with your clothes is how different clothes draw attention toward or away from different parts of your body. So there might be some things that you like covering up or some things that you like showing off. So play around with what it looks like when you're doing a pose with or without a big sweater. So we'll again start with a simple pose.
We'll do our hands on our hips with our foot in front. We'll come all the way to the tip of our toe and turn our shoulders even more, looking out over, over one of our shoulders here. And then let's go ahead and sit down on the floor. This time, we'll change it up a little bit. Let's keep our legs bent and we'll point our toes, hug our knees, pull our shoulders back and tilt our head back. Then let's open both of our knees, tucking one foot under reaching the other foot forward, and we'll reach our chest forward. All right, and we'll do one more facing the back here. Let's face this time mostly toward the back, not completely, and we'll sit not right on our feet, but to the, to the side on the floor. And we'll do the same. We'll bring both of our hands to one hip, looking over our shoulder. And standing back up, we're gonna swish our clothes around again. This time I'll put on a long skirt. You can also play around with your footwear. I'm wearing dance sneakers here. You can wear any kind of footwear. See how it looks, see how it feels. You can also go without footwear. You can do bare feet or socks or ballet slippers, of course. And as you can see, I'm not wearing ballet clothes today. I kind of like playing around with these positions and just regular clothes that you feel comfortable in what you would normally wear or something that you wouldn't normally wear but that you like wearing. That's okay, too. Just play around with it. All right. So now we'll see what it looks like with a nice long skirt. So you can do a long skirt, any, any kind of clothes, play around with it. So now I'm gonna do, this is a position straight on with our legs open that often we wouldn't necessarily do without a skirt on, but it can look pretty cool with a long skirt. So let's just open wide, reach up to the ceiling, lifting the chest, keeping the neck long. All right, we'll drop that down. Then we'll face the corner. And we'll bring that foot that is closest to the camera in front of us. And bring the arms up, looking toward that front palm. Then we'll bring our feet together. Arms up above our head. We're gonna Arch back a little bit, bringing both of our arms with our head, keeping that shape. And then we'll open and look out over that bottom hand. And we'll come back the way we came into it and go to the other side. We'll do the same thing. Tilting back. And opening, reaching over that bottom hand. And we'll come back up. All right. Now, if you feel comfortable with the clothes that you're wearing, we can sit down on the floor also. So I'll go ahead and model that. We'll sit down on the floor. We always do this in ballet when we're wearing costumes. We don't sit on our costume, so you lift it up and sit down and then kind of place your skirt around you. We can just cover up our feet all the way and just do our arms. Then we can do that last position that we were doing standing. So we'll lift both arms, lean back, and open and look out over that bottom hand.
and we'll come right back. All right. So if some of those positions did not work for you, that's totally fine. That is information that is important for you to note so that as you are learning ballet, you can spend more time on the things that work for your body and less time beating yourself up over the things that don't quite work. So make some notes, go back, practice the poses that work, take some pictures of yourself if you feel comfortable doing that, figure out what clothes you think work well for you, and think about, make some notes about what works about it. Why does it work? Does it work because, for example, it draws attention to your shoulders, or your vena draws attention to your neckline? Or does it work because it covers something up? and draws attention away? Does it work because of the line that it creates? Also, why do some poses not work? So make some notes about maybe the poses where you have to arch back don't work as well because you feel and kind of look awkward doing it, at least for now. So make a little chart for yourself. What kind of art does my body make? What does my body do really well? What is a little bit awkward, doesn't work so well on my body? And as we continue learning ballet, we're going to embrace our accent, not try to fix every little thing that's wrong, but just we want to shape, shape things enough so that it's recognizable as ballet, just like we would if we were learning a new language. We want to make sure that we pronounce our words in a way that's understandable, but also accept and embrace that you have an accent and that your accent is beautiful in itself. I will see you next time.